he's thinking about it. Mason, come here. Yeah? You wanna know how much I love you? I fixed your kickstand. That's how much I love you. You're welcome. Now you can start it a lot easier, Mason. Ah, I got it. I got it. Uh oh. Thought it would be easier, but I guess not. It's funny guys, I bought that TTR90 about two months ago. It had a broken spring on the kickstand. I'd say about five weeks ago, I went to the bike shop, ordered a new spring. It came in a week later. A week after that, I picked it up. And then finally today, we put it on. Now Mason has a working kickstand and it's funny, we actually bought a custom graphics and put them on the bike. Edited the video and got it up even before we fixed the kickstand. That shows you where our priorities lie. Nice little double there. They've got a couple little doubles here. It'd be cool to work on, get the kids comfortable hitting some doubles. That's the smallest one I've seen so far. If neither of the kids hit that double by the end of today, then that's it, we're selling the bikes. And buy me one. That doesn't count, that wasn't my kid. about the same size as the tabletop Luke was hitting yesterday. Distance wise, the takeoff is smaller, but distance wise, I think it's probably about the same. the dirt here guys I mean look at it just look at it look at that track looks really fun. I kind of feel like I should just go buy a pit bike, like a 110 or something, just to ride with these kids. This looks so fun. Summer's almost over, but they're planning on hopefully keeping it open through October, so. So we should be able to get a few more rides in here at least. But uh, maybe I could talk Mason into letting me use his bike for a bit.
And these uh, checker flag banners are a nice touch too. Really like that also. Oh yeah! Jump looks so fun, guys. You got this big bull turn you come into. Here comes Mason. Into this huge step up tabletop. Oh! He hesitated right there. Mason, you could have cleared it. He hesitated on the way up. Send it, Mason. Hit it, buddy. moment right here. Luke is jumping more stuff than he ever has. He's sending it off of doubles, tabletops. Man, this is awesome. I'm pretty happy with this track, guys. This is Pat's Acres. We're out here in like Canby, Oregon, something like that. I really like this track for my kid's skill level. There's small jumps that they're able to do, but a little bit bigger ones too that they can push themselves on. The track seems fairly well maintained and there's actually not a lot of people here, which is nice because the track is not too rough. This is, this is perfect. There's like some loose stuff, there's a, some small ruts. It's nothing that they can't handle. This is perfect for them right now, just getting familiar and used to ruts without them being too crazy deep. Learning how ruts can be to your advantage, learning how to use ruts to your advantage to go faster, it's a lot easier than when they're way too deep on a little bike. A few minutes later. You good, bro? Yeah. <laughs> nice. Dude, you both case the heck out of the house. 
Was that your first time going for it? Yeah. What gear were you in? Third. Third. Try fourth. No, we're just about done. Okay, hold on. Let me do a couple more laps. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that was awesome. I'm happy because he tried it and I'm happy because he didn't kill himself just now. Good job, Luke. That's got to be like a 15 foot double or something. Yeah, I mean, he probably cleared like 20 feet right here. It's not bad for a noob. You guys, Luke's made a lot of progress over this last week. He's uh, feeling a lot more comfortable on the bike. He's clicking gears, he's hitting doubles. I'm gonna try this one more time from this angle. I'm gonna see if I can get a shot from this angle too. This looks pretty sick right here. Ouch. You good, bro? Yeah. Just thinking about it. Woo! He hesitated a little bit, but still made it. Yeah. Biggest double to date right there. That's his biggest one, I think. Woo! Good job, man. Kind of slid out a little bit, but you committed and went for it. That was awesome. Coming out of some left-handed rollers, we got this double right here. Um, that's the biggest double Luke's hit to date. He's been rolling it all day, and then over here I stopped him. I said, Luke, we're about done for the day. Do you want to hit this step-up double right here? He thought about it for a second, and he said, let's do it. Came around, got on it, perfect. Came up a little bit short, but rolled out of it all right. And I think we're gonna do it one more time. This time I'm gonna try to get it from this angle. All right, you got this, Luke. Come on, buddy. It feels a lot better if you land on the top side of the landing, but I don't know if he's gonna try it again or not. Did not land that clean, so... I mean, as far as the distance goes, it's not a huge jump, but it is a steep goalie, which makes it a little bit more intimidating. I think he could have had that. He just was a little late getting on the gas. Possibly should have went up a gear. Maybe hit third or whatever. Fourth and then brop, up the face. Let's see if I can get him to do it again though. All right, here we go around again, another lap. I haven't talked to him. I have no idea what he's thinking right now, if he wants to try it again or not. Much better. Nice. Want to end it on that note? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs>